So with the 2024 election being decided, Donald Trump is going to be the 47th president of the United States. Where he got 312 electoral votes to Kamala Harris' 226. Um, Hollywood is not happy. <laughs> Hollywood is not happy. In fact, uh, I got to say, um, anybody check on Mark Hamill lately? So here we have, uh, oh, t time out. Before I get started, I uh, just want to thank everybody for tuning in, tuning into my videos, tuning into the channel. I appreciate each and every one of you, both new and returning viewers. Uh, if you haven't yet, and you want to support the channel, it's free, doesn't cost you anything. Hit that red subscribe button, or if you're over on Rumble, hit the green subscribe button. Uh, like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. And before you go, leave a comment down in the comment box. So let's dive on in, shall we? Cosmic Book News. Matt McGloin, celebs Hollywood react, meltdown over Trump victory. Following Donald J. Trump winning the 2024 presidential election in a landslide over Kamala Harris, various celebs in Hollywood are reacting and having a meltdown over the outcome. As I previously stated, Trump ends up with 312 electoral votes to Harris's 226, a landslide. But just how are the Hollywood adult pretenders acting? Well, during the campaign and election, a large number of celebrities came out in support of Kamala Harris, including Taylor Swift, Mark Hamill, Dave Bautista, Eminem, Geraldo Rivera, Bruce Springsteen, Jennifer Lawrence, Billie Eilish, Aubrey Plaza, George Clooney, Jamie Lee Curtis, Megan Thee Stallion, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, Mindy Kelling, Oprah Winfrey, Jeff Bridges, J.J. Abrams, Julia Louise-Dreyfus, Michael Keaton, Stephen King, and many others. Now... Because of this election, it is my opinion that celebrity endorsements don't really move the needle one way or the other. I mean, heck, on the other side, you had Zachary Levi, Hulk Hogan, Kid Rock, John Rich, um, Dr. Phil, just to name a few. Did those really move the needle? No. I mean, it's great to have the celebs come out and say who they support, but it doesn't really affect the results of the election. Case in point, this election passed Tuesday. The liberal Hollywood trades also attacked Zachary Levi, who came out in support of Trump. Following the election, it's learned that Bette Midler has deleted her ex-account. <laughs> Not surprised. A number of celeb X accounts have also gone silent, particularly Star Wars actor Mark Hamill, who has been a vocal proponent, I should say opponent, of Trump, and whose last tweet on November, 7th, November 5th said with a gif, today's the day we turn the page. Yeah, Mark, that's right. Today is the day we turn the page. We turn the page on the Obamas. We turn the page on Biden-Harris. Hopefully, in my opinion, we get back to, to the greatness that this country should be. Instead of the malaise we're in. Now, his first tweet since the election ended says, They say we get the leaders we deserve. Either that has just been disproven, or this is not the America we all thought we were living in. In fact, here's the actual tweet right here. And he is getting roasted online for this, folks. D-Day Cobra, you're pathetic. Donald Trump is an American hero. He's a bigger movie star than you ever were. Deal with it. Matthew Marsden, no, you don't deserve him. You deserve the shit show that would have happened if Harris had won. Your rants have ruined the Star Wars movies for millions of people. Bravo. Uh, Yellow Flash, you're a real scumbag, Mark. Um... Carl Benjamin, you're living in Nazi America, Mark. 
Perhaps you ought to flee before the MAGA Gestapo squads break down your door and drag you off for your tweets. See, what Mark doesn't realize... Well, he probably... Well, no, no, he doesn't. And this is what all these Hollywood stars do is they project. They project, they project, they project. They project onto others what they themselves either are doing or believe in. America won, you're free to leave. So I'm, I'm not going to get into the view stuff right now. I'm going to save that for another, another topic, another video, because there's a lot to unpack there. But Christina, Lapp, Christina Applegate, most famous for Married with Children, said she is reeling and sobbing and told her followers to unfollow her. Why? Nothing's changed. Nothing's going to change except we're going to be more prosperous under a Trump administration. Billie Eilish said it's a war on women. Shame you women that went out and voted for Trump. Jeffrey Wright said he's quitting X2. Was thinking the day before the election about doing this. There's nothing to be gained on this side anymore. Maybe there never was. Only things to be lost as just we just witnessed. Was funny at times at least. And an information portal. Now embittered, divisive, childish, chaotic, and intentionally so. It's addictive and ultimately stupefying by design. The disinformation here is a weapon used on the vulnerable to distill power down to the disingenuous worst of us. It's working. This is a dead end. There are other means. I'm out. Okay. Bye-bye. See ya. Jamie Lee Curtis in part said it, it means a sure return to a more restrictive, some fear draconian, draconian time. I can't say draconian. Draconian time. No, Jamie Lee. It's not going to be more restrictive. It's not going to be draconian. We're going we're gonna to cut loose. the economic powerhouse that is the United States of America. Inflation's going to go down. We're going to produce the oil we should be producing in our own country and not importing it in from other countries. We're going to become a net exporter again. We're going to be manufacturing back to the United States instead of outsourcing it to China. You've got it wrong, Jamie Lee. Um, this is from the New York Post. Abid Rahman. The reaction to Trump's victory was swift on social media, even before the pivotal state of Pennsylvania was called, with prominent Democrats and Hollywood figures lamenting the state of affairs and making clear their fears for the future under a second Trump administration. Some reactions have been loud but brief, such as Cardi B's saying, I hate y'all bad. If I remember right, Cardi B a couple years ago said she wasn't getting into endorsing politicians. Has she, been hang has she hung out with Diddy in the past? Just saying. Uh, Adam McKay. Who would have guessed lying about Biden's cognitive health for two years, refusing to do an open convention for a new nominee, never mentioning public health care and embracing fracking, the Cheneys, and a year-long slaughter of children in Gaza wouldn't be a winning strategy. Anyone with half a brain. That post there on X, he's more blaming the Democrats for their own undoing than blaming Republicans. Uh, Bette Midler already covered her. Jamie Lee Curtis, Jeff Bezos. He congratulated Donald Trump on winning the presidency. Um, Kerry Washington. 
Billie Eilish. It's a war on women. I already covered that. Um, so just a few, a few of the people that have melted down. Um, LeBron James. He posted a photo on Instagram of him and his daughter with the caption heavy on my heart in mind this AM. My princess, I promise to protect you with everything you have and more. We don't need their help. You know, they have this, they have this, this, this opinion, this feeling that Trump's going to take away women's rights. He's not. Again, folks, nothing's going to change except America is going to become more prosperous than it's ever been. So there you have it. The celebrity meltdowns. What do you guys think? I mean, again, my opinion is um, celebrity endorsements don't mean a whole lot. When it comes to campaigning, they don't move the needle. And that goes for both sides. But just the, just the, 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 the craziness coming from Hollywood um, is, is honestly just get out the popcorn bucket and sit back and watch and read. So. Comment down below. Tell me what you guys think while you're at it. Again, please take the time to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. And with that, I will see you guys.